Okay, we have an RC circuit with a series parallel combination. We have six parts. Uh, the first part is going to be finding the current for T as it approaches infinity. And the current is in I here. Okay, we have find I. Again, the current's here. And as T approaches infinity, is basically DC. DC steady state. At steady state in DC, this circuit forty twenty twenty two microfarads. And DC frequency can be approximated at zero, converting that capacitance to I'm oh, sorry converting the capacitor value into a resistive reactance or type of value <laughs> 1 over 2 pi FC basically FC is going to be 1 over 0 which equals to infinity infinity is equivalent basically to inf infinite um, resistance is equivalent to an open circuit. So now this can be redrawn as 40, 20, 20 can be redrawn as this. So basically now the saw for I is V over R and this is a series circuit so R is going to be 20 plus 20 and V is 40, 40 over 20 plus 20 equals 40 over 40 and that's equal to 40 volts over 40 ohms. That's equal to 1 amp. So that current is going to be 1 amp. Okay. Looking at B. B is find VC as time approaches infinity. So find VC as time approaches infinity. Redraw the circuit again. Again, as time approaches infinity, is DC steady state. Since it's DC steady state, we know the capacitance is going to be open here, and we know that the voltage here is going to be the voltage here. So we need to find the voltage here is V. We have the current from the last example. We could just multiply because the, the voltage here is going to be the voltage here. We can just multiply that current by this resistance and get the voltage. V equals I times R. I is 1 amp, R here is 20 ohms, so that voltage is going to be 20 volts as time approaches infinity. Or if we didn't know current, we could just simply solve for the circuit, which the V, which is going to be this voltage minus that. divided by 20 is equal to V over 20. Since it's a series circuit, the current here is equal to the current there.
and solving for v, we multiply, it's just arithmetic, multiply 20, 40 minus v, 20, v, 20 is cancelled, now we're left with 40 minus v equals v, add v to both sides, we have 40 equals 2v, and divide by 2, we get, v equals 20 volts, so, we have V equals 20 volts, which is the same as this. And again, this is a series, or somewhat of a series circuit, because this is an open. Actually, it is a series circuit. This is an open. So the current, we know that the current here is going to be equal to the current here, because the current in the series circuit is the same. That's why I have the 40 minus V divided by 20 which is the current and V divided by 20 which is also the current okay now C find the time constant find the time constant Draw the circuit again. Two microfarad, twenty, twenty, forty volts, twenty ohms, and this ohms. Okay. Find the time constant. Basically, let's look at the reference manual. Time constant. I don't think there's a time constant directly in here, but if you look at this, RC and RL transients, the time constant for an RC circuit is this. So basically they give you this circuit here. So we need to get the circuit in this form. And the easiest way to do that is using Thevelin. Use Thevelin to get an equivalent circuit. We want to get the circuit in this form. RC and then the time constant will be RC. Devlin, we start you take that out short the supply we get uh, you want to solve for our total looking into this circuit we have a point here, we go this way, and you have a component here, and you have a component here. This component starts here and ends here. This component also starts here and ends here. So now if we, we know that these are in parallel. Because it, they start at the same point and end at the same point. If we redraw that looking in again, it looks like this. So, our total is going to be 20 and 20. I know that's 10, but just because they're the same value, you can just divide by 2, but to get our total the traditional way these are in parallel so 
you would have to do that. 1 over 20, 1 over 20. I'm using algebra. They both have the common denominator already. So 2 over 20 over 1. And 25 over 2 is going to be the resistance total. Oh, sorry, not 25, that's a 20. 20 divided by 2, sorry. Our total equals 10 ohms. Now we need to get the voltage at that point. Now we getting the voltage at that point, we get back the original circuit. We need to solve for the voltage here, which again is the voltage here. So again, solving for V. 40 minus V over 20 equals 40 divided by 20. We saw for that up there, V is equal to 20 volts. So now we have the equivalent Thevenin circuit. 10 ohms, 20 volts, and 2 microfarads. So the time constant is actually 10 ohms times 2 microfarads. Now I guess I didn't really need to solve for the voltage because I just am concerned only about the time constant. And this is going to be some value. Let me calculate that. Where's my calculators? That is going to be 20 microseconds. Alrighty. Next is D, which is VC is T, D, VC for T greater, greater than zero. And I think I'm going to break this up into two parts. <laughs>